Hello, my name is Artemis with HealingWithArtemis.com and Green Living with Essential Oils. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you some of my most amazing, gourmet, delicious, raw snacks and recipes to keep you warm and grounded and satisfied in the wintertime. Stay tuned. So you can look below this video for more information on all the links that I'm going to share with you today. Also, please like and share this video with family members and friends. If you know someone who needs more living water, living foods, living oils in their life, share this video to empower their health and get more radiance, more glow, and more beauty. I have been 90% raw and vegetarian for 10 years. People ask me all the time about my glow, my radiance, my beautiful skin, my energy. And what I'm gonna share with you today is a little sneak peek inside my kitchen of some foods I eat over the winter time that keep me warming and satisfied and grounded. Because you know, when the weather gets cold outside, we tend to crave fatty foods. But instead of eating all those trans fats and dead fats and dairy and processed fats that weaken your liver, let's move into my kitchen today and learn some of the raw fats, the sprouted fats, the enzyme activated fats. So one of my favorite breakfasts I enjoy to eat first before I have any fat is I love to start my day with a raw ripe melon. And this is a papaya. It's been sun ripened. And so when the papayas are sun ripened, they turn a little bit orange. And that orange is the beta carotene for healthy liver, eyes, and skin. So I, I remove the seeds and then I cube it up. And then I add a little bit of YS Farms bee pollen, a little bit of cinnamon powder, a sprinkle of salt. And this bee pollen is nutrient dense in minerals, amino acids, enzymes, powerful superfood boost to your melon meal. And when you're eating melons at room temperature, you can enjoy them in the wintertime and you can also get lots of living structured water, lots of enzymes, lots of delicious potassium and vitamin C in your papaya. So consider starting every day with a melon to hydrate and energize your day. Next, we have a beautiful array of delicious almond milk and superfoods and spices and essential oils. So now I'm gonna be sharing all this deliciousness with you and how I enjoy it over the winter time. And really the rest of this video is gonna be centered around sprouted almond milk, which is rich in vitamin E, magnesium, iron, calcium, and it's got healthy fats. And so I'm gonna teach you how I make almond milk super conscious. And this is instead of buying the boxed milk. Now when you're in a pinch and you need instant gratification, these are okay. But keep in mind, we can upgrade it by buying our own almonds, organic, sprouting them, and then blending them and squeezing them through a nut milk bag. And that's going to give us healthier fats, more enzymes, more minerals, more glow, more radiance, more beauty. So I take a cup of almonds, I soak them in two cups of water, and here's a little tip for you all watching. This is Premier Polar Men's and Pink Salt. And so I infuse the soak water with a half a teaspoon of liquid minerals, and any good mineral supplement will work, or a teaspoon of Premier Pink Salt. And this is a sun-dried salt, not been, has not been ground through nickel grinders, creating nickel contamination, things like that. So I love infusing my soak water with minerals, and then I drain, rinse, I put a cup of almonds in here, two, uh, about two quarts of water, blend on high, squeeze through my nut milk bag, and then I can activate that almond milk with rice bran tocotrienols. So this is very, very rich in vitamin E. It's a delicious superfood upgrade to your nut milks. And I really like the nutty, creamy taste it gives in my nut milks. I also use rice bran tocotrienols in my breakfast, like when I'm making smoothies or when I'm using a little bit of granola. This is a delicious granola from Living Intentions. It's enhanced with berries, berry powders, and probiotics. Love the Living Intentions granolas because they are sprouted and raw, keeping their enzymes intact, their life force intact. And so try, uh, after you have a fruit meal, like a good melon meal or a good whole fruit salad. Next, you can have a little snack and you can try maybe half a cup of granola, a cup of sprouted almond milk, a little bit of bee pollen, delicious little mid-morning snack or afternoon snack, love it. Next, 
For all you ladies watching out there who have liver issues, I want to share with you one of my favorite boosters for helping you digest healthy fats. Now, what are the signs of a weak liver? Some women are experiencing bloodshot eyes, headaches, chronic neck and shoulder tension. When you eat a fatty meal, you get bloated, you get gassy. And so those are all signs that your liver needs some lovin'. Ladies, it's time to love your liver with lecithin. And the reason I recommend you add lecithin if you have those symptoms is because it's going to emulsify the fats in your nut milk or your granolas or anything else you make that has fat in it, like your salad dressings, your soups, your sauces. So you can add one tablespoon of lecithin to two quarts of almond milk, or you can add a teaspoon to your granola. Use lecithin to help you increase the digestion of fats. Now, lecithin is also healthy for brain and heart and, of course, liver and gallbladder. So I like the Premier non-GMO soy lecithin. You, if you have a problem with soy, you can also get the sunflower lecithin. And just look below this video for links to all these products that I share with you today. Next, we have this amazing array of spices and essential oils. So we've got the healthy sprouted almond milk as your base, two cups. Now let's talk about a raw, chai masala almond milk infused with frankincense and nutmeg essential oils yum so the sprouted almond milk you heat it you heat it to about 110 degrees 115 degrees not too hot because you don't want to denature the fats in the almond milk you add about a half a teaspoon of your chai masala powder this is a good organic variety from indus it's got a good clove taste. If you want it a little spicier, you can sprinkle some black pepper and some cinnamon in addition to the chai masala. And then you, you just whisk that masala in the almond milk, add a little bit of lecithin for creaminess. And now finally top it off with two drops of frankincense for immunity, two drops of nutmeg for healthy kidney and adrenal function. Or you can do two to three drops of orange for liver and gallbladder health. Orange is rich in limonene, which stimulates phase two detoxification in the liver. And orange is a great flavor with nutmeg together. These are really, really yummy. I also bring in the cinnamon bark oil for wintertime recipes, but be careful. It's very, very strong. So you can start with a toothpick method. You can take a toothpick, just dip it in the cinnamon bark and just stir it in. And then if you're making, let's say a large family size chai masala with like eight cups of almond milk, then you can try a drop of cinnamon, but be careful. It might overpower the recipe. So start with a toothpick. And then if you have a larger quantity, move up to a drop. And so to review, high water content melons, enjoy melon for breakfast, bring in healthier fats, sprout your almonds with minerals to give more energy and life force activation to those almonds and all nuts and seeds can be enhanced with this mineral technique I taught you today. Use a little bit of rice bran tocotrienols, boost your vitamin E in your smoothies, your nut milks and your granolas. Enjoy a good activated sprouted granola from Living Intentions and make some warming wintertime elixirs. This is a, these are wonderful, wonderful ways, wonderful ways for you to bring some more healthy fats, raw fats during the winter time, infuse your body with living water, living oils from Young Living, living foods, eat to thrive, eat to glow, eat to be radiant, vibrant, and vital. My name is Artemis Kassane with Healing with Artemis and Green Living with Essential Oils. Look below this video for more information on everything I shared with you today and stay tuned for my next training video. Bye for now.